Hello and welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to make a follow alert, a custom follow alert in Streamer.bot. First, I want to start my uh, OBS brush um, so that way you guys can follow along with everything that I do on there. Uh, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And we have a new scene collection here. Uh, and with just the main scene, I have a camera and display capture. I did this so that way you guys can follow along every time I do a tutorial. It's gonna be on this so that way you can kind of keep up and see what I've, do, what I've done. All right. First, we're gonna wanna go into StreamerBot, add a new action, an action staff. I'm gonna call it follow alert. And the group is going to be alert just so that way we can keep things organized all right then we're going to want to go into our sub actions go into twitch users get user info for shark and then we're going to want to switch this to user and then we're going to go into our alerts and add a new text gdi and I'm going to call this follow alert just to keep organized. Perfect. And we can just kind of put some stuff to see what, uh, what we put. And we can pick a color. Oops. A nice pink here. And we will go into our sub actions again on StreamerBot go into OBS, go to sources, set GDI text. Okay. And then we want to put user just like that as follow. Again, this is just going to be a simple follow alert. If you want to see more advanced stuff, let me know and I can give you a tutorial on that. And this, this is just to get you started. Perfect. And we will go into our triggers and go to channel, follow. And if I test this out, it says, Roboto has followed. That's my bot. And it it will just when you test it, it'll just pick someone something somebody random that has followed. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is go into uh, sub actions, and we will go into OBS, go into sources and source build visibility state and we will pick our follow alert and if i go to uh, toggle it, you can see that it turns on and off okay and we will go into core set a delay action we'll say we want that to show up for 10 seconds this does um, milliseconds, so I, I believe that's 10 seconds. And then uh, we will duplicate this. So that way it turns off once it is done. And let's go ahead and turn this off real quick so we can test it. Oh, that's not 10 seconds that's one second one more zero sorry let's test it one eternity later okay uh, i don't have and another thing that you can do is you can add sounds and images um so like we will go here and i'll just pick the first one that i find 
download it. And let's go back into Streamerbot. And we will add that as well. We can go into. Hold on. We will go into core. Go into sound. Play sound. And. Grab our anime. Wow. Uh, I, I like to put it around 50%. That's usually pretty loud. And you can also add images and stuff to that, but this is just simple. So let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, one, one thing is you want to uncheck this so that way um, it doesn't do what it just did. So uh, whenever you get a follow, it'll all show up together. You're also going to want to go into your main and add your alert scene into your main so that way it shows up on, on top of um, normally you wouldn't have the display capture in your alerts but you're going to want to have your alerts um, nested into your main so that way it shows up and it should okay, good. all right that'll be it for this tutorial um i will see you next time with a new tutorial all right uh remember to subscribe like follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash and i'll see you next time goodbye